about press conferences. Um, we go a long, long time and it just gets better and better as a working with him. And uh, tonight I was extremely proud, as I'm sure as his father was, and the rest of his family, with his performance. It was always going to be a hard, tough, brawling fight. Uh, Bernard Hopkins is a uh, He's a great athlete, he maybe 43 years of age, but he certainly knows how to look after himself in the ring. Uh, but at the end of the day, Joe came and had the key to unlock uh, Bernard's defence. And you know, we've got a, a new champion, we've got the new number one undisputed light heavyweight in the world, as well as being the uh, undisputed super middleweight champion in the world. It's great to come here to Vegas and to do it. It's, a, it's been a fantastic experience for everybody concerned. You know, we love it here in America, American fans, the commission, everybody that has been great with us. Um, and I hope that he was pleased tonight with the Welsh and the Brits that come over and show some great respect to your anthem, apologies for what happened last time. And uh, it's a say so a great evening. And we've got here the best fight, certainly in my time, for our fighter. Certainly my time in boxing, to ever come out of Britain, if, if in, indeed Europe. He's a great fighter, he gets better and better, um, and this is his night, so we introduce you to the undisputed number one super middleweight champion, and the undisputed number one high heavyweight champion, Joe Calvary. That was pretty tough. Um, yeah, what can I say, you know, uh, it was a tough fight, uh, I got slipped in the first round, I think. But, um, I thought the American camera was a bit slippery, frankly, they warned me about that. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, I set myself a goal after uh, 2007, after beating Michael Kessler. And obviously the one thing that's missing from my record is to come to America and fight. But not just come to fight, come to win against one of the biggest stakes. And that's what champions are all about. You know, it'd be easy to stay at home, a few more defenses and retire. You want to set this whole coming to America. Okay, I don't think it was, I've not seen a tape, but I don't feel it's a pretty fight. I never thought it was going to be a pretty fight. You know, I knew that, um, that Hopkins was quite dirty on the inside and very defensive, which doesn't really suit me, but the sign of a, um, a, true, a true champion is how he attacks and sit in, under any city. Come along me from home to East qualified and fought a new weight for the first time. Um, got put down in the first round, but I'm proud of the support I had. So, um, to be honest, when we turned pro and my dad was my trainer, it was myself, the team we had. And uh, all I can say is thank all they've had. You know, I'll send it in the moment, we've in a few days, but thanks a lot. I didn't see the, didn't see the bunch. I'm only for the third time. Well, everybody got eyes, I ain't got to explain nothing. You know, I mean, my, I'm a man, and uh, there's no way in the world we will come and, and face and look at everybody. But uh, one thing about life and TV, and people can sit back and they can analyze and they can talk about it as time goes on, um, days, months, hours. Um, remember, I'm 43 years old. No excuse that I'm 43 years old. I think I showed something tonight uh, that is so profound. Well, I say, man, look at it. You think I was in a fight? I feel good, mentally and physically. I believe that uh, I won the fight. I have no questions on the ass whether it is. Was... But uh, I think that when it's all said and done, the history reflects on what happens. Um, I got beat tonight, but it wasn't by Joe Gonzaga. And I can deal with that because I always call myself a rubber with a cause, not without one. So, anybody have any questions or anything before I exit out of here because I, I got some more photo shoots to do? So, any questions? Well, this could be a quick night. Any questions? <laughs>